Guys, it's it's game time. Look at this. Cosmic brownie protein ice cream. Mmm. That was a big bite. Ooh. Look at that. Dude, I'm dropping mini brownie pieces everywhere, dude. Oh! If you're like me, you love ice cream. Oh, baby. Mmm. Wow. But if you're also like me, you have goals. And if you are also, also like me, you laugh at the idea of only eating one fourth of a pint of ice cream. Let's be real. You want to eat the whole damn pint and you should. Your days of only eating one fourth of a pint of ice cream are about to come to an end. Quick backstory, since 2014, I've been chasing this dream of the perfect homemade macro friendly recipes with some success. I've been on the quest of bridging the gap between two things, delicious and macro friendly. Ice cream for me has been one of those things that I never want to give up, but having a whole pint of Ben and Jerry's is well over a thousand calories. Why did I just do that? <laughs> Why do we even want it? And if we think back into history, before 2012, you could only really have one ice cream pint a week. And why 2012 was significant is this is when Halo Top was released. One brand is attracting more ice cream lovers with a promise of low calories and less guilt. But seems like it's too good to be true. A pint of ice cream that has the same amount of calories as a medium bowl of cereal with milk. Now you can eat a whole pint and feel great. After the first four years of launch, they struggled a lot. But in 2016, they made a big jump. Last July, Halo Top became the best-selling pint in America. This is the tower of Halo Top. 180 calories for this entire pint. And fun fact, I was their first influencer they sent a care package to. I was a massive fan. It was a game changer back then compared to anything on the market. Literally a whole pint of ice cream for 280 to 360 calories with 20 plus grams of protein. It was unheard of. Halo Top changed human behavior with ice cream. It went from a habit of one night a week having a pint of ice cream to now having a pint of ice cream every single day of the week. I mean, it's not a bad trade off if you were willing to budget out about $2,000 a year just for Halo Top ice cream pints because what was a $5 investment per week, AKA one pint a week, was now about $35 to $45 a week, AKA now seven pints a week. Everything wasn't great about Halo Top. There was a massive problem. And if you've had it before, you know what I'm talking about. You could eat the whole pint of Halo Top, but the sugar alcohols would leave you laying on the floor writhing in pain. Oh, erythritol. We didn't really know what you were back then, but man, did you hurt. But if you had goals and you wanted ice cream on a daily basis, this was your only option. So you made it work. You dealt with the pain. And this is the punchline. There was always a good enough quality associated with any ice cream that was considered macro friendly. We had no other options, so we made do with what we had. But here's the point of this whole video. Gone are the days of good enough. No more compromise of taste, consistency, or macros. No more eating only one fourth of a pint of ice cream. And enough of these ice cream companies burning a hole through your wallet. I present you the star of the show, a whole pint of legit Cosmic Brownie Protein Ice Cream for 297 calories with 42 grams of protein. How is this even possible? Well, on January 5th, 2023, a little over a year ago, I purchased the Ninja Creamy. I've used every kitchen appliance known to man, so I was super skeptical. For perspective, I used the air fryer for over a year and a half before I made a single post about it. AKA, I will never talk about a product that I don't think is absolutely amazing. AKA, I don't want you to waste your money on something you will just use one time. I want it to be worth it. I want it to be versatile. I want you to absolutely love it. So back in January, 2023, I began the rigorous testing of whether this machine would pass the test. And this was many months before the July to November craziness where these were sold out literally everywhere. The Ninja Creamy. Ninja Creamy. The Ninja Creamy. The Ninja Creamy. The Ninja Creamy. 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 The Ninja Creamy. And just like the air fryer, I didn't make a single post about it until I had full conviction. And spoiler alert, this machine is literally macro-friendly sorcery. It is magic. Ninja was able to take a $6,000 ice cream machine maker called the Paco Jet and turn it into a $200 machine that you can just use in the comforts of your home. But the key thing is, if you know how to use it the right way. Over the past year, I've tested over 300 different pine recipes. Most were all right, but about 15 to 20 of them were literal perfection. I'll be sharing more of these in the future, but today I'm sharing the most viral one of all. The Cosmic Brownie Protein Ice Cream. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Let's dive in. So the majority of this recipe is going to come from a base of liquids. I use an equal balance of two key liquids fat-free fair life and unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So you're gonna add 200 grams of fat-free fair life, 200 grams of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Why both? 
The Fair Life provides a bit more richness, density, and flavor, while the almond milk complements that with a little bit extra fat, a little bit of creaminess, but with much less calories. It's a balance that allows for the lowest calorie count possible without sacrificing on the texture. And remember, our goal is always delicious and macro-friendly. Now for the dry ingredients. The most important ingredient is your protein powder. And if you're using the wrong one, you're going to have a massive problem. Here's why. Not all protein powders are made equal in taste and also the blend. The blend we are looking for for recipes is a whey casing blend. The whey provides that nice smooth consistency and then the casing is going to add that thick and creamy consistency to your ice cream. And so the moral story is your protein powder will make up about 50 to 60% of the dry ingredients in pretty much all creamy recipes if you want the macros to be immaculate. And not only blend matters, you want one with an amazing flavor profile as well because it will make a massive difference in the flavor of your pint. And you definitely don't want one with a chalky protein aftertaste. It's the worst. And so for this recipe, we're gonna use the best protein powder for recipes in the game, 30 grams of the chocolate fudge brownie protein from Flex to stay with the cosmic brownie theme. And so these next three ingredients are super important if we wanna truly achieve that cosmic brownie richness. First, we're gonna add 10 grams of brownie batter protein cookie butter mix-ins. You might be wondering, what the hell is a protein cookie butter mix-in? Simply put, add this to anything and it takes it to the next level in flavor, texture, and macros. And if you don't have this ingredient, don't stress, you're gonna add five more grams of your weight casing blend protein powder, and then you're going to add five grams more of the unsweetened cocoa powder I'm gonna talk about in a second. Next, we're gonna add eight grams of sugar-free, fat-free chocolate pudding mix. You can get it at pretty much any grocery store, and there are a ton of flavors. This will add a boost of flavor, creaminess, and density to your ice cream without much extra calories. Next, we have five grams of special dark unsweetened baking cocoa. The richness of it helps for that brownie flavor profile we are going for. We don't want a faint chocolate flavor. We want rich brownie flavor. So now you're gonna add five grams of a zero call sweetener of your choice. I personally use a stevia based one, but you can use whichever you prefer. And lastly, we're gonna add a pinch of sea salt. The addition of sea salt just helps with balancing out the sweetness and also brings out more of the chocolate flavor. So now you're gonna take a small milk frother. Got this for like 10 bucks off Amazon. You're gonna mix all the ingredients together and prepare to freeze them. You can shake this up in a protein shake too. I've seen people do that. I just don't really do that. And I've never seen somebody give like a little tutorial on how to clean this thing. So what I do is just take a cup of water, add a little bit of dish soap in there, and then I actually spin it while it's in there and it cleans really well. If you just try and clean this thing with just like a sponge, you're, it just is impossible to clean. So hope that helps. And I usually prep like six pints at a time whenever I'm making my protein ice cream. So I have one for pretty much every day of the week. Making one is just as much work as making six. So I have a bunch of pints. So like once a week, I'll make like six or seven pints at one time and then have them in the freezer. As you can see, I got three cosmic brownies and then one birthday cake batter one. It's just a pro tip. You can just have one because we want to have ice cream like literally every single night. And so before freezing our pints, here's a super important tip for freezing them. I recommend adding to the freezer without the lid to avoid a hump being created in your pint. If you've ever made a creamy before, you've seen this hump. This is what can break your machine. This is my theory. Where's the one with the hump on it? Nope, that's not a humper. Gotta find the humper. There's the humper. Okay, so all the heat went to the middle and it wanted to escape. And because the cover was on top, it didn't escape. So for this one, you see it's pretty flat. That is because it didn't have a cover on top. We do add a cover on top once it's frozen. And so when you have your blade going in here and it has this little hump on top, it can add to complications. I've been told by Ninja HQ that this is a big reason why it actually breaks. And this is how we fix that. And so we're here, the moment is upon us. Your pint is frozen. Now what? Before you add it to the creamy, we need to let it thaw a bit. And so there's two ways you can approach this. You can let it sit on the counter for 10 minutes, but I'm too impatient for that. If you've ever had a creamy that has the outside with like, it's a little icy, we want to make sure you want to run water along the outside. And you're gonna see, you see how it's like a little white right there and it's starting to come down. That's how you know it's starting to stop being as icy, I would say on the edge. So you can see it's white. That's when you know it's starting to separate from the edge and then it's pretty much ready. So we don't wanna go all the way, but we wanna get close enough. A little slap. So now we're gonna go over to the creamy. So now our pine's ready to go. We add it to the creamy, but which setting do we use? Each one of these pre-programmed settings is determined by time and speed of the blade. So what I mean by that is the time at which the blade is going down and then also coming back up and also how fast the blade is spinning on the way down and then also on the way up. I'm gonna go through two of them, the ice cream and the light ice cream. So the light ice cream setting has almost double the amount of time and duration on the way down, 
about 30% more speed of the blade on the way down, about the same duration on the way back up of the blade, but the same speed on the way back up of the blade. What this means in the light ice cream setting is you're gonna get more of a light, airy, whipped type of consistency, not super dense. But for the Cosmic Brownie, we want incredibly dense, full fat, rich ice cream. That's what we're going for. In the ice cream setting, not the light ice cream, the ice cream setting has only 60 seconds on the way down. It is 30% less speed and then it's a slightly less duration on the way back up. And then it's only a third of the speed on the way back up. And so you're gonna get something that's much more dense. And so you'll see when I open up the pint, it's gonna look a little dry. And so what I'm gonna do now is not worry about that because we're gonna add our mix in right now. I don't know if you guys have looked at a Cosmic Brownie at all lately. I mean, it's baffling. 270 calories for a 62 gram brownie is absurd. So we're only going with half of one inside the creamy, but it's gonna give it that nice, uh, this a mix in. And then when you do the mix in setting, which is just a light spin up and down just to mix in the brownie, you open this bad boy up and it is decadent. Like this is unbelievable. With the Cosmic Brownie that adds 140 extra calories, this whole pint is still only 440 calories with 43 grams of protein. This whole pint. Insanity. Guys, it's, it's game time. Look at this, look at this. The moment is upon us. I told you, I told you. Cosmic Brownie Protein Ice Cream. Here we go, big old butt, big old butt. Oh God, here we go. Mm -hmm. mm. That was a big bite. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Dude, I'm dropping mini brownie pieces everywhere, dude. I have my white socks. Oh! <laughs> All right, just for comparison, look how small this is. Compared to my pint. Watch, it's gonna look fire as fuck though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking all that smack. That does look fire though. That's density right there. That's density. Hey, that's density. Ooh. Density and calories. I'm not, hey, I'm gonna always keep it real with you guys. It's pretty dense, but hey, we wanna eat a whole pint, not just a little bit. And plus, this thing has 18 grams of protein for the whole pint. This has 40 and less than half the calories. Come on now. I mean, I mean that like, consistency ain't bad though. That ain't bad. And so that's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you could, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It has been two and a half years since my last YouTube video. Pretty crazy. My hair was much different my last YouTube video. Uh, I think I had a mullet. Then I had to buzz my head because I had a really bad haircut. And then now it's grown all the way back out. Pretty crazy to... Uh... Pretty, pretty crazy to think about. Yeah, man, it's been a long time since my last YouTube video. So if you've been here, since I left, thank you. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on TikTok, you like you know I've still been around. I've still been master my craft. I'm really freaking excited. Now I'm back on YouTube with so many ideas and so many things I'm excited to share with you guys. So what the cadence is gonna be every Monday, noon, central time. All right guys, I'm editing this video and I definitely just misspoke. It's going to be twice per month, not once per week. I wanna make sure the quality is super duper high. This cadence is only because I love you guys. I'm gonna get there once per week, I'm gonna get there. New video, new recipe. The, the goal with the channel is, as it's always been, is delicious and macro friendly are usually on two ends of the spectrum. We're bringing them together. So if you click the first link in the description below, you're gonna get my 10 most viral recipes since I've been gone off YouTube. And then also you're gonna get access to my private emails I send out to teach you guys everything macro friendly cooking. All you gotta do is check out that first link in the description below. I think that's it. Like, subscribe, love you guys so much. It freaking is amazing to be back. I'm so excited. I'll see you guys next Monday.